Hello, everyone. Welcome back, welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena. We're going to do another Duskborn draft in a second, but I had a little digression first about this browser window. I, so I, I... This is the second Duskborn video. I did a Duskborn draft and went two and three. You know, spoiler alert if you're watching these out of order for some reason. And then I meant to do another draft, but I, like, didn't pay enough attention to the arena interface, and I entered sealed instead. And I was like, okay, whatever, I'll do a sealed video. But then I found out at the end of the video that I had, like, partway through, I had paused the video to go check a ruling response I got on Discord. And I somehow messed up unpausing it, and so it's just like only the first two games of the whole draft are there. So, not publishing that video. I just wanted to share that, like, while I may be bad at recording videos, I'm not absolutely horrible at playing Magic. I did go 7-1 in sealed with a green-black... I don't know, this deck does not really have a theme. It's not a Delirium deck. It's not a Reanimator deck. It's just kind of, it's like, is it mid-range? I guess. Um... It had a couple, you know, big bombs, Unholy Annex, in Dissection Tools, the Swarm Weaver. And Ghost Vacuum was a real problem in a couple games for my opponents. Keep them off Delirium, and then in one game I actually did pop it for six and put, like, a huge amount of power on the board with creatures that had big ETB effects. Um... You know, so, and I, I had, you know, this is my only reanimate card, and I still did okay at reanimating some stuff compared to the the deck uh the game or the draft where i was playing like black white reanimator i don't know so i think this is a better deck than the last one just because it does things early and the last one didn't anyway back to i thought i had okay there we go this says premier draft Yes, I'm sure this is what I wish to purchase. Also, it, it must be said, I was on the play a lot in that uh, sealed. I think I was on the play seven games out of eight. I lost one game, but it wasn't the game I was on the draw. What are you? Yeah, triple blue. I mean... Um, no thanks, I think. Glimmer Seeker is... okay. Liver Die is okay. Fear of Burning Alive. It's expensive, but it's strong. Friendly Ghost is good. I think Meat Locker is quite strong if you're, like, gonna go late. I mean, Fear of Burning Alive is like a finisher for the mid-rangey red decks. I've heard that mid-range isn't a good idea in this format because the control decks win so hard, you want to, like, either be one or be an aggro deck to kill them. But I, I, I think I'll take Fear of Burning Alive. Like, can this really be good? This rare? I don't know. It's so easy to kill, right? I l Enduring Vitality is great. Anything else worth thinking about? I don't think we want to second pick Vengeful Possession just because we took a red card. Yeah, Enduring Vitality seems like the obvious choice here. Red-green? From what I hear, red-green is not that great a deck. I don't know. I mean, people are still figuring things out. I, I like the idea of the Delirium decks, you know, racing to Delirium. That that appeals to me for some reason. I don't know whether it's good, but, you know, fine. Re Reverend Gremlin, great card. Uh, what is this? 2 minute, 2 3 enchantment that makes enchantments and unlocks cheaper? Pretty strong for. Well, blue white. I think you have to take Scorching Dragonfire here. Kind of surprising this made it to pack three, or pick three, rather. Um, Trapped in the screen is also good, but not as good, I think. 
This is just so cheap, it's instant speed and it exiles. I think Gremlin would be my second choice. Monstrous Emergence is okay. Maybe choice number three. I don't know, maybe, maybe at some point in there I should put Inquisitive Glimmer. What are you, this is terrible. Smoky Lounge, this is a big card for the room deck. Which we aren't currently, but you know, and things could change. Uh, Cause there's not really much here. I mean, I guess like you could take Terramorphic Expanse. But I, I think I'm gonna take the Smoky Lounge. Because I only have the one green card, right? We're not exact, and we're not exactly committed to that. And this is pretty good in rooms. I think Terramorphic Expanse would be a reasonable choice, also probably. Nothing else seems like a very good idea. Maybe the green combat trick or whatever that was. Hmm. Manifest Red is solid, I guess, for Green Red, but it doesn't seem like that's necessarily what's open. Might be taking a blue card again. Not that this is the greatest blue card. If we're in rooms, like maybe we play Grixis Rooms. Let's see how, let's see if that's possible. Okay, oh, I wish I'd taken the, the milling crab if this is the way things are gonna go. Okay. This is terrible, right? Yeah. Twist reality's fine. Oh, although there's this room. Eh, I don't know if this is the card you want in blue-red rooms. Could take a Mountain Cycler or a Terramorphic Expanse, maybe? Just to make sure I can actually run my stuff. Yeah, I think I like that over Manifest or Twist Reality. Okay, I mean, exercise is a surprise here, but we haven't seen much white. I think this is just a fluke, not a signal. I'm just going to grab Stocked Researcher, which is a bad rooms card, but I guess it's okay. Actually, wait, maybe this is better. Three mana for a 1-4 that can be a 4-4 four four if you have rooms. And it's only two or more. It's not that hard to get. Yeah, okay. The Meat Locker from Pack 1 Wield. Okay. Well, let's cut the green then, I guess. I did say maybe Grixis Rooms. I think probably Bear Trap is more likely to make the deck than this thing is. The Blue-White Thing Wield, huh? Maybe why it's more open than I thought. Am I cutting red? No, probably not. Yeah, I mean, it looks like something grixis is the place to be, probably. What is this? Oh, this is so gross. You have to be somewhat aggressive to play this, but I think it's just fine even if you aren't. Not, I mean, I said you have to be, but I'm reconsidering, like... Yeah. It's such a pain to deal with. It, it gets in the first couple turns at least, and it's pinging you every turn as well. I'd like maybe to wheel the crab, which I think absolutely could happen, but like Twist Reality is also fine. But you can't skip the Needlehead. Oof, strong green card, but that doesn't 
seem like green is where we're going to be. Growing Dread, also very strong. What's this room? It's fine. There's not much here for us, really, sadly. I mean... Could I want this? It is an enchantment. We have some eerie stuff. We could be playing Teemer instead of Grixis, maybe? Like, this is my only... I only have two mediocre black cards, right? Like, this one's cool, but this one's meh. Yeah, this is much better than the other cards in this pack. I think I'll take it and... Well, in that case, why don't I... Twitching Dolls even better still and easier to cast? Yeah, I guess that's the pick. So maybe Enduring Vitality is still in? Not clear. Grievous Wound, a funny combo with some of the, with the, with the room that we don't have, but there's a room that does one damage every turn. Peeper is interesting. I this is a big draw engine. I An opponent was crushing me with this. Was that in the draft video? I think it was. Maybe it was in the sealed video that never happened. Piggy Bank is really strong also. But I still don't really know if I'm even red. I guess I am. This is a great like tempo and then value kind of card good at any time. I think you have to take the room. Blue, white. Hmm. I don't think I'm playing white. Enchantments. Yeah, so this is a nice eerie card. Uh, Apparition is probably okay as well. So something blue and roomy is what I'm trying to play. I'm not sure of the details. Roaring Furnace, a bunch of damage, draw a card every turn. This is amazing. Get Out is okay, Apparition, no, we want some removal, unable to scream. Ghostly Keybearer, lovely. Yeah, nothing else really worth picking here. Stay Hidden is a nice removal spell. Hmm. The Crab is okay. We also got Twist Reality. So I have like two green cards. I don't think they're worth running. So I, I, I guess I'll take this. I don't really know. Uh, ticket booth. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Neither of these is amazing. I, I did end up with the smoky lounge, so my rooms are easier to unlock, perhaps. A mountain cycler is nice to have. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like black probably isn't a thing. This is We just got this one black card, right? Fear of Lost Teeth is nothing special. I'll leave it in for now, I guess, but... Yeah, this, this is a way to kill people. So, like, green and black both look like they're probably out, but... Maybe one of them is in, I don't know. Ooh, Unholy Heat, great card. Although, Zimone, even greater? Painter Studio is fine, it's, it's good. But I think you have to take Zimone if you have any ability to play it. And, I mean, we're in one of the two colors and we're thinking of splashing the other. And we have one source of fixing. You have to take that over Unholy Heat or whatever else, really. 
she just wins games for very little investment. But we should be on the lookout for fixing in those colors. Uh, actually, Fear of Isolation, kind of great. Bouncing runes. Also, like all of the fears, it is an enchantment. We have some eerie stuff. We're not running any of this white stuff. I don't want Trial of Agony or... Do I, want... I don't want any of this red. I don't want any of this at all. What could I possibly run? It's hard to imagine, right? Maybe an Anthropede? Beastie Beatdown. Okay, I mean... That's something we could potentially play if we're splashing green. Although probably you're supposed to take a meat locker over an ambitious splash. I don't have much support for Delirium. It's still fine as like a, two, a rabid bite, except it's a, a rabid bite that's hard to cast. Um, so I think I should not choose it. Counterspell's fine. Modal counterspells are especially good, right? Because you don't need another instant to hold up to make sure you get value. If they don't cast anything you want to counter and you want some tempo, you can just, like, manifest and it's fine. Hmm. Uh, an island cycler seems all right, I guess. So I think Enduring Vitality is out. The double green is too much. But we could maybe run Twitching Doll plus Zimone at least. Uh, one second, there's actually someone at the door. I think it's just a, well, it is a package, BRB. Okay, I picked up one card. Well, what was... Not a meat locker, it was another room, but no, it was the one that manifests... Oh, Central Elevator and Promising Stairs. I think that's what I want, right? Sacrifice a room, two dads, kind of cute, but... I mean... I, I think it is possible to get to this with... The Salon. Smoky Lounge or whatever it is. Painter's Studio is fine. I don't think I'm running this black thing. A second one would not excite me enough to run black. I still don't want any of this. It wheeled? It's so good, guys. What's no one's playing red green? How come I didn't wind up there? Like, so there's there's a lot of people playing green. I guess there just aren't any people playing red. Okay, interesting. So Anthropede could maybe make the deck. Let's let's just put in everything that's plausible. I don't. I mean, enduring vitality is great, but double green is asking a lot, right? with like such a heavily red-blue deck. I don't think it's the kind of thing you should splash on a double. I have very little support for splashing. I can afford to splash one or two cards. Um, and I don't think BC Beatdown should be one of them. Uh, okay, so I don't think I need the bear trap either. So I have quite a number of enchantments. Oh boy, that's we're gonna have to cut some of those. That's a lot of rooms. 
So my main question, I guess, is whether the doll is worth splashing, because if you don't have it on two, it's pretty bad. Well, no, I mean, it's, it's just much better if you do have it on two, right? It's great in that case. It just accumulates counters, it ramps you, everybody loves it. But if you draw it on two and you can't play it, it's a real burden. I mean, the Piranha Flies I don't think are very good. Needlehead, it's good, but we're not that kind of deck, and the Double Red is an actual problem. I think Fear of Burning Alive is probably a cut as well. Like, it's strong, but I have plenty of top end already. And so now we need to like look at all of the rooms, please. Which is just this whole column, I guess. So I like this. This this is the one that I got when I was away picking up my package just to make sure it was not out there on the doorstop. Actually, was, in case they were asking me for a signature, I wasn't sure, but they weren't. Um, yeah, so when you unlock Surveil 2, nice cheap thing to do early. Make a 3-3. You know, four mana, three, three, not incredible, but fine. Like, this is two cards, right? If you play one of these cards, imagine either of these were printed as a card. It wouldn't be very good, right? I've talked about this before, and this is, like, not news. Anyone who's thought very much about rooms knows this is sort of, like, their thing is... Neither of these as a single card is all that great. Like, four mana to make a 2-2 two -two and get some graveyard value and like, you know, to, to manifest basically, to manifest a 3-3. Three -three. You know, you can, 4 mana 3-3, three -three, you can do better than that for sure. The ability that like, okay, sometimes it's a little bigger than a 3-3 three -three, because you could flip it for more mana, it's not that great. And like a 1 mana Surveil 2, nobody would play that. But what if you had a card that said it's 1 mana Surveil 2, draw a bad 4 mana card. You'd be like, yeah, that's that's pretty good, right? Even if the card is bad, you get to draw it attached to doing something else that fits nicely into your curve. So you just always have ways to spend your mana on stuff that does something. Even if it's not like the greatest thing in the world, that's worth it. Like Painter Studio, this is just like three mana draw two. And then, you know, if you do any attacking... It, I mean, actually, I think in red-blue I don't need this card. Because we have much better blue card draw than this. And I don't have a, I'm not going to be attacking a ton. So I don't think I want either half. And I only have two more cuts to make, apparently. Hmm, that's interesting. So I guess we are running all these rooms. Hmm, I see it. Put these way over to the right because their mana value... This, this thing's mana value is six, right? So this is like, you know, bounce something, and then later on you get a way to maybe draw a bunch of cards. Although, I don't have that much evasion. I have a couple flyers. Central Elevator. You know, it's expensive. Um, but this is the win con, or a win con, for the rooms deck. Um, and an enabler to search out your favorite room. I, we want to run this. We want to at least try. This is great. Two mana, big removal spell. Five mana, draw a card every turn. Amazing. Meat Locker, I love. Three mana, tap and double stun, so a creature just goes away for a long time. And then five mana, reload. Ticket Booth, eh, you know, this one kind of sucks. It is like a three mana 2-2, two -two, which isn't terrible, but it's not great. Okay, so we just have one more cut to make. And, I mean, I guess it could be a land. Because I do have these two land cyclers, I guess. But I don't think it should be. 
I think it should be either, it should probably be this doll or maybe this five, four mana five three. I just have better stuff to do. So this way we are, we could hit the, you know, the nuts in terms of like, oh, the twitching doll could go off, right? I'm low on colored sources, but I don't know, I'll figure something out. I, I mean, I feel like maybe I'm just not supposed to splash green at all, except that Zimone is insane. And if we are splashing Zimone, uh, you know, we could put in a doll. I'll just cut one forest and put in another mountain so that I'm at like 883. And three is like a recommended normal number to splash a card or two, as far as I understand it. Wish I'd taken that red green land. Oh well. So teamer rooms, although really just is it rooms with two blue card, two green cards. Oh, I didn't check my dailies. Paul Myers. <laughs> it's all rooms. Okay, I mean, sure. I have a surveil to help set up my next turns, and then I have a big burn spell to kill the thing they attack me with. It looks good. I have I have the win in hand, right? Sort of. Ooh, um, how important is it to get this down versus making sure I can play a three mana card on turn three, which is what this would accomplish. I think I'm going to go ahead and surveil. Um, actually, I mean, these are both kind of sick. But I need lands? Like, I could play this next turn, and also that would be an opportunity to get in the Terramorphic Expanse, right? And if I'm doing that, I may as well mill this because it's going to get shuffled anyway. A 0-3 is just really nice against aggro, I think. Yeah, I'm still committing to that play. get another island with this. Sure. I don't know if I... I don't think I want to blow this up. I think I want to stun something, right? Yeah, this is... This doesn't have Delirium anytime soon. I am like, you know, I just don't have enough creatures. <laughs> oh, a forest. Right. For Zimone or whatever. Yeah, I don't need double blue right away. I think we take the forest. So Meat Locker to stun the piggy bank? I guess. I don't really feel like I'm keeping up with things here. This creature. Oh, I don't want to mill them. <laughs> I'll I'll mill me. I do need like a creature to contest things at some point. 
So, I have this four mana play, but it's terrible. Right? It could be just Meat Locker the Piggy Bank. And do I land cycle? Probably, right? But not this turn, I guess. That would be illegal. Okay, you know what? I will melt. Mill you because I'm your, your delirium guy is tapped anyway. I don't know. This has got to be wrong. I, why am I? I should just mill myself. Don't be a chicken. What? <laughs> Nobody runs that. Are you crazy? Okay. Sacking the one one to shoot me? Oh, and also draw a card, I see, of course. This game is not going to come down to decking, so I should just make sure they don't get more Delirium. I mean, I'm dead. <laughs> oh man, a little cooked a little too much on this one. We'll see. Maybe it was just unlucky that I didn't draw any of my copious early game. I mean, the runes are early game, they just didn't really do anything. All right, what are the dailies, though? Sure, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. This is, this is a tough one. And I mean, that was Rooms losing to aggro, which is kind of the natural way that matchup goes. If you can keep hold of enough tempo, you'll get them eventually in the endgame, and if you can't, they're going to kill you. We should do better against mid-range decks, right? What the hell is this? Um... I guess this is okay. This is a mountain cycler, so I can play the lounge, and that'll let me do some other stuff. I need to hit green, uh, blue soon, but there's a decent amount of it, right? How many islands did I run again? Like, I have seven islands and one terramorphic expanse. I don't like seeing this mountain. This makes me unhappy. Swamp is maybe not the worst thing I could see. Let's just kill that immediately. I'm not going to wait to see if they play something scarier or untap and protect it. This card sucks. I'm very happy. Maybe it would even draw me a mountain or an island. Hey! Good work, Simone. We got there. 
Hopefully this isn't unholy heat. They do seem to be holding up one mana though, so we should expect to turn inside out. That's fine. I'm happy to block and lose to inside out. Cards, cards, cards. Glimmer light solid. It's one to equip, right? Yeah, nice. These are good blockers. I was thinking, like, oh, does it make sense to maybe, like, play Smoky Lounge so that I could, you know, start playing my rooms super cheaply? To do that, I have to let them hit me for four? So let's say I played Lounge and a land. That would be four, so next turn I have five lands plus two would be seven mana, as long as I spend some of it on a room. Three and three would be okay, I guess. Yeah, I think we can play the lounge. Oh, that's an illegal tap. I'm just trying, I don't know exactly what I should be bluffing, but. I wanted to hold up red to threaten inside out, but I can't do that while casting this, so. Yeah, I feel like we're in great shape this game. I've got Room Stuff and Zimone both online, and I'm still at 20. Obviously, I'm about to go down to 16 at least, but their board is not a big threat right now. Hello? You okay over there? Did I lose my internet connection? No. No blocks. They don't seem to have any instants because it passed instantly when I hit no blocks. That's good to know. A 5 3, that's fine. So my plan is to play this and then. Meat Locker, they're 5 3, I think, right? Which I can do. Everything's tapped. Simone can safely attack. Just double checking. Five, six, seven, I'll have eight mana if I play a room, which means I can I can draw from Diner and still play another 4-4. Four, four. Which seems nice. Didn't want to sack a creature to give this a counter. I agree, that seems correct. I think I swing with the 5-5 five five on my turn, right? 
want to make sure I get some value out of it before I upgrade it into a 7-7, and I already have enough blocks. They're not attacking, so if I just sit back, I'm not getting value out of this as a blocker. Yes, that's the tap I want. Jeez, okay. So, I could play Roaring Furnace, but I think I'm happy just playing another 4-4. Oh wow, they're actually just voluntarily killing my 5-5. Five five. Nice. Because it's not hard for me to make another 7-7. Seven seven. Just flashing this in, okay to get a look at what you're drawing, or maybe to put some reanimation target in the graveyard if you get lucky and have a reanimate here, I don't know. They topped it and they're killing Zamone. Okay, that's why they were happy to kill the 5-5, five five, because they can permanently turn her off. Fine. Makes sense. Hey, it's my other green card. So I could crack this to make a 4-4 four four fly. But I, oh, I shouldn't have played the land yet. Fortunately, this is still big enough. I have spent all of my free mana. I still have seven. So if I unlock this, I start drawing a card every turn. That seems pretty good. I mean, auto tap solution has changed. What? Don't don't pay my green? What's wrong with you? Didn't even attack or or play anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's make a six six flyer, I guess. Tapped out, they can't even have a trick here. Wow, I thought you might double block, but okay. I know it's gonna stop for me and end anyway, but I think having this little circle here is a reminder to not forget to tap this guy is sort of nice. Actually, if they put one in their second main, you can like never forget because that's such a weird, there's never any stops there, right? Well, it sort of worked. This was a more mid-rangey deck and we just had way too much value with the smoky lounge. And rooms that actually did something this time. 
And they, they just didn't play enough stuff, right? Unlike our previous opponent. So, I don't know, more games like that, please? I mean, Zamone was also a big deal, maybe more so than all the rooms nonsense. She was like a 3 3 and a 5 5 and 8 a removal spell. For 3 mana, seems pretty good. Almighty Melon! Okay, I mean. Nothing till three, but it's playable. Swamp, swamp into a one one. So this is the one that gets counters, right? Yeah. Three, three. Ooh. Eerie Mirror? This is a nice card to have drawn, I think. Because I, I wanted, I was going to Meat Locker this, but I guess I could bounce it instead. Elevator is crazy. Don't play that right now. But... I could bounce it and then stairs to start surveilling every turn. I think that shows some promise. And then if they replay this thing, I can stun it and keep swinging. Maybe that's the right play. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe just turning this on is better. Artifact, creature, or enchantment. So they chose my creature. That makes sense. No dolls, please. Mm hmm Well, it looks like Meat Locker time. Or no, Diner, rather. The Drowned Diner. This does four damage as long as I remember to cast it before I play a land. <laughs> Your creatures have Convoke. That's pretty cool. That is a good one. Yes, that's perfect right now. Do I even want to kill this thing? I guess I do, just because it curves nicely into playing you, which is what I want to do for the turn. Like, just to stop... I'm sure they'll have something cool to reanimate someday. Let's just get rid of it. Uh, there's no need to play this first, right? Yeah. So I could, this doesn't do anything. This would have me tutor up a room, which I don't really want right now. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, I could hold Counterspell, but I think, I think this is pretty good. Threatening to start popping these rooms open. Actually, you know, maybe I should have just held Counterspell because 
Then I could play this and hold Counterspell, making it a serious threat for this to start just unlocking all my rooms. But I think it's better to just like make sure I like to just spend my mana on the rooms myself, right? Perfect. Ish. So let's see, let's see this combat damage player unlock a locked door. Draw a so it's when okay. So let's unlock this one before combat. No. Okay, well I got greedy. Manifest this. Wait. Why are you offering to let me choose two? Hello? Very weird. So I could have been less greedy and just like chosen to flip this one, but I, I wanted, I wanted to get the draw a card from this and then have attacking them unlock this one for free. Um, it's probably time. To, well, maybe it's time to elevator into. The lounge to start unlocking this stuff cheaply, maybe. Another one. Oh, yeah. I know this is hurting my elevator wind condition. Oh wait, I don't get to kill anything for this. What is wrong with me? Ah, okay. I just thought I could kill something with this, but it only does like two damage. Oops. Okay, well. I guess I've, I've now bought myself the option to use this at any time, right? It's, it's locked now, where it wasn't before. But I had to spend, I don't know. Was that actually good? Like, given that I have an elevator in play, it seems like I should not be unlocking my doors, or locking them, rather. I mean, these could kill me as well. That would be a bummer. This has Convoke. Yikes. Mm. No. I just want to get going on my rooms so I can win before I run out of time. So currently, my hand size is four. I could kill a 3-3 with this to stop the lifelink. I think that's a good idea. I have seven, eight mana, so this would be two. Mm, I can play this first to get a little mill on me, I guess, although I don't really want that. I don't know, it's confusing. I could have killed a 2-4, but I wanted to kill a 3-3. Three, three. Maybe, maybe that was wrong too. I don't know, this was stupid. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have played this first for mill. It was right to kill their lifelinker, but I think milling was silly. So, five mana remains. Oh, 
I tap too much blue. I can't cast both of these. Okay, let's start surveilling and try and trying to win, I guess. Did I blunder again? I forgot which side of this was already open. I already had the side that, yeah, if I if I just left blue man open, I could have cast this and like be in position to win next turn. Now I'm giving them two turns unnecessarily. Which I cannot really afford, I think. Oof. Oof. Yeah, this is horrible. I'm, like, dead. Aren't I? Okay, they pumped both of them. I could have, I think, lived. Like, I can live this turn, clearly. But if I just played last turn better, I would be winning next turn. And I'm not anymore, because I messed up. I tapped wrong. I didn't know what I was searching for, or how many land uh, rooms were left. Yeah. So this takes 14 and lives. Maybe I can still win, actually. No, how am I dealing with all of this? I can get rid of some of it. I can tap one thing. And that's kind of it. If I had the bounce land, a bounce room, that would be one thing, but this is a surveil room. Ugh, so sad. Should have won. Well, no. A different player with these cards should have won. I clearly should have lost, as I am currently doing. It's close, right? But that 3-1 gets me before I can win. Do I have any instants that I could... Maybe I could have held up some instant. No, I'm like out... Oh, Scorching Dragonfire. Yes, that was a thing I could have drawn to. So I shouldn't have tapped out for a useless manifest. I should have held up mana in case I drew a Scorching Dragonfire off the room trigger. So there's another reason I deserve to lose that game. Tough, tough to play. Just a lot of things to keep in mind all, all the time when you've got a million enchantments affecting how things work. Gaffirvert? Gaffirvert? Sounds like... Is that German? I don't know. This is nice. Go grab a forest and we're off to the races, yeah? Opponent down to six. Okay, room showdown? Showroom showdown? 
Any fans of uh, the Price is Right? So it's four mana to tutor up a room, or three mana to surveil every turn. What is this? This is Hand That Feeds, okay. Ooh, that's so exciting. Um, okay, well, this isn't the greatest Unable to Scream target, but I feel like I have so much value I can spend my tempo here. Who knows what set that is? Uh, what is this? They're gonna kill my two two. Okay, no problem. He already did his job. I don't have one of these, do I? No, I don't. Uh, okay, so five mana to spend on runes. Could make a 2-2 two -two flyer, that seems bad. Let's see, I only have one blue, so even if I tutor up the one mana land, or the uh, room, I still can't cast it. Uh, what if I island cycled this, though? And I think I want the furnace, right? Destroy that thing and set up draw. Or not destroy that thing, destroy whatever they have next. Oh, okay, I can't destroy the 2-5. Maybe Meat Locker would have been better. So up to seven mana. Which, I mean, do I want a four four or this three two? I think I want a four four, right? And then turn on surveil. Make a sound is a little annoying. Boo. Actually, do I want this? another 4-4. Four, four. No. I think I just cast this. They can make me pay two, but I'll have two, so that's fine. They didn't even try? Huh. 
Okay. Simone's a good one. Although I'm currently on five lands, which is an awkward number for her. And we're on five runes, right? I can't get it to tell me like it could when I could cast the spell. There are four? Okay, still no mountains, please. Okay, they no longer have that counter spell face up. Six, eight mana. Hmm. I still want to get to the point where, like, I can use Roaring Furnace usefully. But I obviously want to play my cards. So maybe I spend two on this and then I still have six? Yeah, I guess that's alright. It tapped on my fucking wall! It's fine. It's not fine. It is fine? This costs f four. <sighs> right, I don't have enough mana to do all the stuff I wanted to anyway. This costs four. I thought it cost two, but it does not. No, this left half is three. No, but that's already unlocked. The right half, like, I'll just cast that, I guess. Zimone can wait. She's not doing anything this turn anyway. My guy! My stuff! That's fine. Come on in. Well, actually, a mountain is a 7 7 right now. I'll keep it. Probably should mill it, I don't know. I have useful stuff to do, and eventually I'll hit a land naturally and then play it with Simone, right? It doesn't have to be that turn. Am I, I've already, it was just on the screen, but I didn't quite see it. Am I on one loss or two? We're at two and two. Uh, yeah, it looks good, it's got it's got removal, counters, lounge. Red green. Hmm. I, mean, I could just make that unable to scream. It's pretty premium removal. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll do this before they untap. Okay, just an instant. Man, they get to Delirium so fast with Manifest Dread, right? They're already at two. Okay, that's probably four. No, land, sorcery is an instance, I guess. And they only had lands to bring back. Why the duel, I wonder? I guess they need another green source? No, they need a... Well, if you needed a black source, you just play Swamp. I don't quite understand this. Lounge time.
This card really sucks in the deck. I don't want to mill either player in most games. But it's it's just nice to have a 0-3 that can block, right? So up to 6 mana if I'm spending any on rooms, which only 3 of it can only 2 of it can be blue though. So if I play Drown Diner, I can't also play Crab. I think I'm supposed to play this guy and just let the room mana go to waste? No, because then I, I can't even... I have to play just this. Huh. <sighs> okay, I guess it's Diner then. Don't play the uh, Mountain yet because if I'm lucky I can play a Plains and then a Crab. Not Plains, an Island. Okay, you got it. Ward two. So that means this costs three mana. I have five, six, seven. If this is three, I have four left, provided I spend some on runes. I think the Misty Salon would be fine. That resolves. It's sort of a weird auto pay. I understand why you're doing it, but it doesn't actually make sense. Me. I will not mill the red green player. Me again. <laughs> I guess if I mirror the mirror, mill the elevator, I don't necessarily have a win condition. Hmm. They have destroyed whatever it was I had in play, the token. Seven mana. Eight if I spend some of it on this, provided I also spend some on a room. Oh, but I don't really want to island cycle this, mountain cycle this, do I? I only have five real mana, six if I cycle this, which I guess is kind of perfect. I don't know, I don't think I should let this mana go to waste. I think I should manifest here and then get out a 4 4. That seems cool, right? Me. I mean, they don't... Creature, instant, sorcery, land. I guess they do have Delirium. Maybe I don't care that much about milling them. But I assume they're going to have other graveyard value stuff. I could hold Counterspell, but... I think this... I should be just getting tempo going, right? Just stay ahead. Okay, what? That's fine, I guess. What is my maximum hand size? Four. Oh no, my four four.
Ah, sword stuff. Knock it off. They didn't even attack with the 3 4? I'll have to discard down to... My maximum hand size is 3. Oh, 7 minus 4. Okay. Yeah, that tap is correct. I'll still mill me, I guess, because I don't want my hand size getting smaller. Although, I should probably stop. Yeah. I don't know what I need to even get rid of here. You? Have I played a land this turn? I have. Okay. Well, we're not holding up Counterspell anyway, so... Let's just jam a surveil one. What did I mill, by the way? Have I hit my elevator yet? No. Okay, interesting. You? I think I have to mill them, because I, I don't want to hit my elevator and lose. I don't see myself winning any other way this game. And I'm real close to elevator just ending the game. I imagine their plan is to deck me with winter, right? Oh, of course, they get to do this anyway. Okay, I should have tapped something else. Whoops. Like piggy bank and bounced this one. I was confused. Uh, frantic. Too many decisions to make in too little time. So what rooms do I have? I have these two left still, plus the elevator. So I can pay one mana any time to just surveil two, and that's another thing done. Okay. Yeah, they're not attacking because they're just going to deck me is the plan. Okay. Well, I, I mean, you're not wrong. I don't have a way to stop myself drawing a million cards anymore. Hmm. I guess I have to surveil, see what's coming up. I'm gonna mill you. Okay, I want the elevator, please. I'm not sure it's in Oh, I should have, whoops, what was even the card under it? I need a way to like, not draw, I'm drawing, drawing like eight cards in the next two turns, right? Which is just barely enough I might live. Don't need to do this. What if I play the diner now? Can I get the elevator down? Six, eight mana. No, I'm one short. Disaster. If I hadn't surveilled, I could win here.
this doesn't matter. I, I might want the land. Oh, just discard everything? Discard down to one? Well, I might need to counter something. I don't need this. Let's draw two. Then draw one, two for my turn. Then draw two for their turn. Win in my upkeep? If nothing else mills me? I mean, yeah, I've got a shot still, but it requires nothing to happen. Well, I mean, they're not killing me with damage. They have to kill me with mill, which they probably don't have much of besides winter, right? So maybe I'm fine? Also, I guess if they killed the um, elevator, that would be a problem. Or the stairs, I guess, technically is the one I care about. Okay, what's that all about? Oh, they found a way to mill me, I see. Nice. Yeah, another one I could have won if I had played better. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe not. So, wait. I play Elevator, mill them. End of turn, I draw. Two in deck. Start of their turn, I draw two. One in deck. Aren't I still fine? Oh, I don't have the mill thing anymore. Okay, so I hold up a counter spell. What else do I need to do? None of this stuff. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is online. I could cast this, but I don't see how that matters. I guess I could... Well, no. If they can bounce or destroy one of my rooms, then unlocking another doesn't help. Oh, I guess I could have played this. It was free, because I was going to have to discard down to one. Whoops. Oh, am I... I thought I had the thing that makes me draw one every turn. That's why I thought I was losing faster than I am. But I don't have that. Altanak is... fine... My turn? Win? Yay! Okay. <laughs> oh, spooky one. Yeah. It's nice they didn't try to pressure my life at all because they just saw they were milling the heck out of me. Or I was milling myself. I don't know, this crab in my deck makes me very nervous because I don't want to mill myself and I never want to mill them, but I do like a 1 mana 0 3. I should probably be putting in like the 2 mana 2 ones instead though. Just, or, well, Painter's Studio maybe? Just have another room? I don't think so. Ticket booth? It's a room that I can, like, unlock one half of to get some use eventually. But I'm not really using the right half. I could take a bear trap, actually, over one of these guys. Yeah, that's probably an improvement. Okay, well, I made it up to three wins, shockingly. Oh, 
Pardon me. I need more water. Up against head chains. Looking great. Oh, you just had to... Okay, well, that's fine. That's good. It just... I was like, oh, I was going to get red, and then, like, I have this, but... I have to choose between red and green, but, of course, the doll can make the red. So, I think that's... We hope so, anyway. If I take green and then never hit a mountain, it's going to be kind of... If I, like, never... If I play this, they kill it, and then I never hit a mountain, it's a bummer. Chainsaw, god damn it. <sighs> okay. Oh. I'm not gonna put a counter on it, huh? Well, I can still mountain cycle with this, that's true. I don't think I have to do it now though, I can play my two. Next turn, mountain cycle plus play this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I, I should have though, because killing the two two. Oh, also they missed their third land. I didn't notice that. Killing their two two seems pretty good. Their mana dork when they're no one down. Okay, so let's do that now. Having missed the opportunity to do it last turn. Plus X plus O. So we're just gonna plan to block here. They hit a se uh, you know, second forest, third land. But they didn't have anything good to do for three mana last turn. I mean, they they spent two mana last turn when they could have spent three. So they probably don't have a great three mana play in hand given they just drew the forest. It's the other five cards are the same ones they had last turn. I, they could equip the chainsaw, but I can just block that. Okay. Discarding, grasping, long neck. Wait a minute. You have delirium now. That's not fair. I need more time. Uh, jeez. I need to just play a 3-3 three, three here. I'm prepared to double block in case they have a trick, which they probably do. Well, maybe not. Oh, it's the... Tap a creature to punch something. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I guess I'm gonna die. I don't think there's anything I can do anymore. I can make a creature here, I guess. Or no, I can I can play a 5-7. Plus 3, plus 0. This would be a 7-3. Well, I mean, that it's about the only play I can make that doesn't die on board. It has haste? Alright, see you later. Three wins. Yeah, I mean, I should have killed their doll before I played out my 2-1.
That would have saved me a little damage, because I think the doll attacked me on that turn. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have killed their doll at all and just waited to furnace this thing? Or, I mean, actually, yeah, I think I was... I don't know. It's tough to say. Like, when I played this, I could have killed their doll or the two-mana hasty trampler. And I was like, well, the trampler's not that big, and the doll's giving them mana. They're stuck on two lands. So that that's reasonable. But it's also reasonable to note that they're not that far away from delirium, especially if you destroy an artifact creature. And if they have a 4-3 trampler, what am I going to do about it, right? Whereas the doll, I, yeah, I could just sort of let live. I don't know. I mean, some of this is just like being on the draw against aggro, right? It's really, they get a lot of extra time from being able to play first. Ripsaw my doll. And have their own live. I don't know. Well, there was a game I was complaining I had thrown, but I ended up winning it. The one where I milled, where I elevated. Um, I don't remember what happened in the other games, really. It's all it's all a blur when I do these videos. And just when I... I don't know. Take the games as they come, right? There's that room's mirror we won, right? What happened in that game? Opponent had a bunch of glassworks. Or just one? I don't know. Anyway, whatever. We're out of here. Three and three. Not terrible. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.